Once there lived a woman by the name of Eri Tikura, daughter of Te Amuhia and niece of the great warrior and chief Tufaki Eriora. Eri Tikura and her husband Ruatona had two children named Rakai Mawatea and Takapuatua. While Tufaki Eriora had taken up residence again in Okai Wharetoa in the Kawakawa district, Eri Tikura had come with her husband Ruatona and their children Rakai Mawatea and Takapuatua, travelling from Orete all the way to Okai Wharetoa in hope of finding healthier soil for their crop. But when Eri Tikura and Ruatona arrived two days after Tufaki Eriora's departure to fight the Wahine Eti, Ruatona immediately asked Eri Tikura to stay and look after their family while he left to go and assist Tufaki Eriora in battle. On returning to Okai Wharetoa, all was not well. It seemed that in the year that they had arrived, they had lived amongst local people without causing any trouble. But in the following year, when Iritukura's children went to work in the Mara, they were teased and mocked for having no land and were chased away by the real owners of the Mara. Rakai Mawatea and Takapuatua scampered back to tell their mother what had happened. Iritukura wept as well, for she knew it was true. Tukura then decided to ask Tufaki Eriora for some land of her own. On hearing what had happened at the Mara, Tufaki Eriora instructed her. Kaore he kainga, hai hoatu tango, maku ki a koe, haramai haere, ki runga ki a mātou, pūnga rehu, ko au tu ngāngē no hoai. By so speaking, Tufaki Eriora was gifting the wahine eti lands taken at Te Roroho Katai to Eri Tukura, of course, she was overjoyed and set off to Waipiro. When Eri Takura arrived in Waipiro Bay with her family and people, it was in the springtime. They found a burnt clearing near the bank of the Waipiro stream where they camped and prepared their Kumara gardens. The clearing was known as Otu Kopako. Eri Takura's fires began to be noticed by Pakanui's men and they reported the sighting to him. Pakanui then instructed them. At this time, Eri Takura and her people had been preparing soil for their Kumara gardens, but they had no seeds to plant, so Eri Takura asked her daughters, Rakai Mawatea and Takapuatua, to go to Pakanui and ask him for some. When the two girls reached Tapatahi, they were welcomed by Pakanui. When they told him what they had come for, he replied, By so speaking, Pakanui was asking Rakai Mawatea and Takapuatua to go and get their mother, Eritukura. Takura came to Pakanui, he asked her. Heha tō tira. When Eri Takura replied, Nā tū whakairi o rau i tono mai ki runga ki tā koutou pungarehu ko o taina. Pakanui then realised why she had come. Pakanui then showed her the wahine iti land and repeated tū whakairi o rau's gift. E tika ana i nā ngā pungarehu ao tū ngāni. In saying that, he was gifting the wahine iti land to Eri Tikura. Since he had already planted his kumara, he gave her his storage pits and his mara. Lastly, he gave her the Ngāti Whakapuke survivors as servants to work for her. A marae was built in recognition of Eri Tikura. It stands tall and proud, known as Eri Tikura Marae.